6 News. We are working new developments in an ABC6 investigation involving this video in the Providence Police Department. Good afternoon. I'm Allison Alexander. And I'm John DeLuca. Today, pictures are emerging of the victim showing how badly he was beaten up by the Providence Police. ABC6 has obtained copies of those pictures. Reporter Parker Gavigan joins us live with these new details. Parker? Well, take a look. Right there, a large wound on the top of Luis Mendonca's head held together with staples. Like the surveillance video, these photos shed new light as to what happened. The photos were snapped in the hospital just days after Luis Mendonca was beaten by Providence police. You can see bruises to his face and body. Staples stick out of his scalp. The evidence is there. Those pictures clearly show the beating he took, and those were taken, uh, I'd say, a little bit shortly after he came out of a coma. Mendonca's attorney, Alberto Aponte Cardona. Back in on the Buddy Cianci show on 630 WPRO and 997 FM. Sits down with ABC6 political analyst Buddy Cianci on WPRO radio to talk about the beating and weigh in on Police Chief Dean Esserman's decision nearly 50 days later to put two officers on administrative duty. I don't know what it means to be on administrative duty. If I had my way, they'd be in cuffs in front of a judge right now. ABC6 has learned the officer seen on the tape kicking and punching a handcuffed Mendonca is Detective Robert DiCarlo. ABC6 sources say the second officer now on desk duty is Sergeant Paul Renzi, a veteran with 20 years on the job. I mean, clearly, anybody who sees the tape, you guys saw what I saw. It, it's a crime. It, it's a clear-cut crime, and that's my position. Mendonca had been pursued in a foot chase by RISD security and Providence police after officers suspected him of trying to get into a school dorm. On Friday, he was found guilty of assaulting two RISD officers, but serious questions remain. The police report from that night is vague. No officers' names were mentioned, and nothing was written about the beating. Now here's what's at stake. Cardona says a lawsuit against the city is likely. The attorney general's office is deciding whether they will press criminal charges against DiCarlo, Renza, or any other officer there that night. And ABC6 has learned that the FBI is also looking to see if Mendonca's civil rights were violated. Live in the newsroom tonight, Parker Gavigan, ABC6 News.